And even though we definitely have some great summer activities to look forward to, Robert, you're saying people may need to hold off for the next week at least with all the rain we're expecting. Yes, unfortunately, lots of rain on and off rain, showers and thunderstorms. <sighs> yeah. Hope, hope kiddos got some rain boots as their graduation gift. That would be a great gift, actually. That's a <laughs> that's very thoughtful. Or an umbrella or a poncho or something to keep you dry because we've got daily rain chances through next weekend. That is uh, seven days of rain pretty much. Now, within that, we could have some embedded heavy rain and even some severe weather is possible on certain days. And after all is said and done, several inches of rain appear more than likely across the entire area by the time we get to next weekend. Here's a look at the satellite radar now. Some showers kind of straddling uh, just south of the Branson area, and we're watching the possibility for more showers just north of Cleveland. We'll see if they stay together and last and hold on to make it into northwest Arkansas. I think the River Valley should stay dry tonight. It's dry right now in Rogers. Traffic uh, moving freely there on I-49 headed north or south here at 65 degrees. Now it's at 65. Big difference in the River Valley. We can see some clearing in the Arkansas River looking very picturesque. 79 in Fort Smith. They had more sunshine today, no rain, and it allowed their temperatures to really rise. And you can see all those temperatures here across the River Valley, well into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Meanwhile, for uh, many of us in Northwest Arkansas, a little cooler, upper 60s, even some lower 60s. You can see Eureka Springs there just hanging on to 60 degrees, and it feels a little muggy out there with dew points. Look at up near 70 degrees in Springdale, 63 in Alma widespread 60s in the River Valley. You'll notice that moisture in the air as you head out. You'll see moisture falling from the sky as we go through the next week here. I'll kind of show you what we're dealing with. For the most part, dry tonight and dry for most of tomorrow. It's once we get towards sunset tomorrow, then we'll start to see the development here right on our doorstep by four o'clock. More showers and storms crossing the area by around seven o'clock. Again, maybe some embedded thunderstorms with some of these showers as they make their way through by midnight uh, tomorrow morning. More rain is in the area and then we go through the upcoming week and you can see that by Monday morning scattered showers and thunderstorms by Tuesday morning about the same thing. This is showing maybe more concentrated rain across Northwest Arkansas as well as the River Valley. We get to Tuesday night. Maybe our best chance at some isolated severe weather. Then by Wednesday morning, another slug of moisture slides through. Even by Thursday afternoon, we're still dealing with the rain. And then by Friday, scattered showers and maybe even a few sprinkles by the time we get to Saturday. All of this rain is going to add up potentially by the time we get to next weekend. Three to five inches of rain, heavier amounts back across Oklahoma. The models are still fine tuning this forecast, so these numbers could shift east or west or north or south in any direction here. Something we'll definitely want to keep our eye on. General thunderstorms tomorrow, not a big severe weather day, but Monday we're watching for isolated severe storms, possibly in northwest Arkansas and extreme eastern sections of Oklahoma. Lows tonight mostly in the 60s, a kind of a muggy evening will rebound tomorrow into the mid to upper 70s out there and the extended forecast is basically it's you know, it's a term I like to use all the time rinse and repeat, which is basically what you're seeing there with plenty of impact days and plenty of days for showers and thunderstorms. But again, as you saw there with the hour by hour for the River Valley as well as Northwest Arkansas, I right now this could change. I don't think one particular day is a complete, you know, all day soaking rain. It's it's scattered showers and thunderstorms basically every single day which is kind of annoying, Jamie, because just when you think you're going to dry out, you get poured on again. Well, this looking at this forecast, it's the perfect reminder to stay up to date on the latest weather conditions by downloading the free 4029 News app. You can find it in both the Google Play and Apple App Stores. Don't go anywhere. Jordan Black will be here right after the break talking all things sports.